Here it is, Barbie's dream house. And look, the whole house and everything in it folds up into its own sturdy carrying case. Hey gang, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel if you're not new. Okay, the amount of requests that I've had for an apartment tour has been surprising to me. I do know that a lot of my followers on this channel know my story. I'm gonna put it in a nutshell if you're new. I was living the married suburban, I had a bungalow with a pool in the suburbs life. It was great. I woke up one day and thought, you know what? I wanna sell everything and travel. So if you wanna join me for a while, just grab your hat, we'll travel like that's old style. So we sold everything and traveled across the country. I found the Sunshine Coast of BC. My lord it was paradise there so i opened a yoga studio a private gym and a holistic health clinic there it was the dream i'm just living the dream <laughs> just living the dream i love that and then i realized i really really wanted to be near my people my family my friends i missed my people so once again sell everything i owned moved back across the country, back here to Southern Ontario. Where we're going, we don't need roads. When I got here, I realized I didn't want a commercial space anymore business-wise. I started transitioning into the author realm, the speaker realm, so now I do talks on health. I did write a book, I have a health business, so I work 100% from home. I get asked quite often, what do I do? How do I have so much free time? Why can I just do what I want when I want? I just run my own health and wellness business. So check out kickitwithkelly.com if you want more info on my programs or the 21 day challenge that I will be doing starting January 7th. Can't wait. So. I moved into a lovely little bachelor apartment in a house down by the lake. I am in love with this apartment. So let's get on with this tour. We'll start with the entryway. This is my entryway. Cute, lovely. Those are the shoes that I wear on the daily. That is absolutely not the amount of shoes and boots that I have, but I can't store them all there, so they are all in my storage room. Okay, when people come into my apartment, they're like, oh, is this girl 12? I guess we'll never know. No, I am 35. <laughs> this is my little nook. That bench, this bench was made by women in India that had been abused. These are their old saris. They sewed them onto this bench top. It's absolutely gorgeous, so I donated to them by purchasing this bench. It was at the home show in Toronto. I'm obsessed with Disney, so Duffy and Shelly Mae, if you're Disney fans, you will know who they are. Llama onesie! My friend's amazing. He just fills my life with happiness and joy all the time. That dear is a Christmas decoration. One word to the wise. If you collect something, don't tell people, okay? <laughs> because they see it as a wonderful gift opportunity and I am guilty of gifting things to people that I know they collected also. However, I have so many throw pillows now, I don't know what to do with them. I love them all. I will not be getting rid of them. They are all close to my heart, but no more, please. <laughs> Thanks. Just look, look at the chubby little bastards just sitting around everywhere. I mean, what are they? Pets for chairs? Here's what it looks like from up in my entryway. Down the stairs. This is what the main area looks like. I'm not a huge fan of the red wall, but I'm not gonna paint it, I'm only renting right now. So this is a bachelor apartment, meaning that my bedroom and living room is the same space. That couch does turn into a queen size bed. It takes about two seconds. Okay, well, maybe a minute or two. This is my Christmas tree. Each ornament is either from somewhere that I have traveled or somebody has brought one to me from somewhere they have traveled. It, they all mean so much to me. This one was my first one ever. It says 1983 and grandparents are love. That's my birth year and it was from my grandparents. It completely smashed the other day. I nearly had a heart attack, but guess what? eBay, thank you so much for existing internet. It is not the exact one I don't even care, it's a replica, it'll do. 
Moving on. I watch YouTube. I don't watch any regular TV. I watch a little bit of Netflix, mostly YouTube. This centerpiece is from a very good friend of mine. I am going to link his website below in the description box. Amazing woodworker. Love it. That is how I work. Yep. This is how I work. That pillow. <laughs> oh, my llama pillow. Anyway. That was another gift for Christmas from a very, very, very dear friend of mine. Okay, so seeing that that's how I work, this is actually my little office-y nook. I had a huge office in BC with giant windows and I just, I can't sit in here. I feel claustrophobic, but it's got all my junk, everything I need. I'm obsessed with puzzles. This one's on the go tripods for filming and my vision board make a vision board I don't care what your age is I don't care what your gender is it is unbelievably helpful for creating the life that you've always wanted man if I didn't have no vision board I'd be in trouble more info on that can be found online my favorite books I do card readings as well so I have lots of those this is for Tai Chi it's called the Chi ruler exercise you can look that up highly beneficial Books I Will Not Live Without, The Essential Law of Attraction Collection by Esther and Jerry Hicks. Huge, The Divine Matrix by Greg Braden. Just these two will give you the life of your dreams. The Five Love Languages is very important. I recommend that for anyone in a relationship. Strengthen all of your kinds of relationships, whatever they are. You know, coworkers, family, friends, lover. Heirloom. And the rest of my stuff. All right, yeah, so I don't sit in there. That's where I do my work on the couch while YouTube plays in the background. There's nothing of huge note to describe over here. This little book is The Secret. This is from Disney World. You can put your own picture in there, but I didn't. This is where I just keep random things for filming. If you don't have an electric barbecue lighter for your candles, get one okay that thing is a lifesaver no more butane no more lighter fluid silly i am always burning a bath and body works candle this one is fresh balsam because it's christmas time probably smells like my christmas tree fun fact about kelly i have no sense of smell when i was about 19 i had my tonsils and adenoids taken out so they had to cauterize all inside of there because I ended up bleeding out and mm, no sense of smell anymore. If you have any research or info on how to redevelop your sense of smell, let me know. I once sprayed Ugg boots with a weather protectant spray and I could smell everything for about two hours. It's really a sort of a miracle. What? Miraculous. Anyhow, not too sore about it. You know, if you're gonna lose a sense, may as well be smell. There's a lot of bad smells out there. Okay, this is my closet. That, I made a fool out of myself buying that at Walmart. I just wanted it so bad so I could sit in here and do my makeup with it. I might make that little office -y area a vanity area over time. This is the closet. I know, very exciting. Shout out to Jim Shark for this outfit. This is the Slounge outfit. It's amazing. It is amazing. I just, yeah, I'm always wearing slippers. I love Jim Shark. Careful careful sizing with Gymshark. These are my clothes. I'm a little bit obsessed with bomber jackets. I think I have one in just about every color. You know, clothes, boring. This was my childhood cherished toy. It is Zeddy from the Zeller store. You might know about Zellers. It's gone now. It's extinct. So I have not seen a Zeddy bear anywhere else until I went to Fan Expo in Toronto and I saw this guy in the horror alley. Oh my goodness, because I love horror movies. This is an original Zeddy that an artist made. And it's obviously it's just plastic, but it is blowing his little head out with this cute little gun. I know, macabre. It's like I'm a psychotic 12 year old or whatever. Anyway, had to have it. So, buddies and pals there. This is a couple hundred dollar thing called a gimbal. It is the best stabilization mechanism for vlogging, for doing any kind of filming work. Why don't I use it? Because I find it to be a little bit of a pain in the butt to set up when I'm just doing a casual vlog like this. Anything out and about is done on the gimbal. Random 
things. Bath and Body Works, a little bit obsessed. That is my dog's paw print. Rest in peace. Future is now. The future is now. Stop wasting it. Stop wishing for things. Do things. Just do it. Because one day, there won't be any time left to do the things you want to do, okay? Live the life. It's a really awesome size kitchen for a bachelor apartment. There's those throw pillows I don't know what to do with, so... What? Are they full? Centevia water filtration system, amazing. Alkaline mountain water, whiteboard. Everyone needs a whiteboard. I pretty much meal prep all my supplements and vitamins, so I don't forget to take them. So those are for later today. Dun, dun, dun. Dark chocolate covered almonds. I try not to keep anything like that around because obviously, huh, but it's Christmas time and it was a gift. You know who you are. I know you're watching. Thank you. Instant Pot, can't live without this either. This makes cooking and meal prepping an absolute dream. Most things are special gifts. That bowl, special gift from someone. These I fell absolutely in love with at the bay. They are amazing. I could not decide between yellow and orange, so guess what, both. Squishables, loaf of bread, mm, hilarious. Anyways, random items, that is my brother. Love you, but you know, respect. Not gonna say names or show photos. Okay, when I was a little girl, my grandmother collected teacups and I loved the idea. So as I was growing up, everywhere very important that I went that was a nice memory, I bought a teacup from. There's thrift shops everywhere that's got teacups. So each one has on it where I was and what the year was. Ellicottville, 2012. So I kept the ones that were my absolute favorites. My last name is never on anything. This was a total shock. So the fact that my name's on there, huge. Blender, this is the best blender I've ever owned. If you drink protein powders or you make green smoothies, you need to have a blender that is very high quality, that can absolutely pulverize those powders and greens because that's what makes it bioavailable slash readily absorbed by the body in the gut. So if you don't have a blender that is a high quality, high efficiency pulverization miracle, you're not gonna be absorbing the proteins and the greens the way that you should be. So those micronutrients, those are very important. So, got one. I make my own protein bars and things from scratch, so this will not burn out. I burned out so many blenders making protein bars and such. This is also BPA free. Yeah, it's a few hundred, but it's out paid for itself many times over. My little llama shakers from my friend. Okay, another Bath and Body Works, love. This is a charcuterie device. Not really, it does come with a grill top and a flat top and this granite top. It comes with little um, trays with handles for each of these. Melts all different kinds of cheeses. It's just the best thing ever. I love charcuterie in the winter. So that's that. I'm not gonna do a fridge tour today because you know, make that another video. My little Buddhas. This is a calendar from TUT. Check out TUT.com. This is Notes from the Universe. It's absolutely the most delightful calendar. I bought it for myself because I signed up for the Notes from the Universe daily. It is amazing. Check out TUT.com. But it's so inspirational. If you follow anything to do with the Law of Attraction, you will absolutely love it. The piece de resistance. This painting absolutely hilarious okay how could you not laugh look at that cat and this girl pointing to it i saw this painting years and years ago at a spa with my mom we take spa trips together every year i laughed so hard in it so then my best friend and i are at a flea market and this painting is at the flea market and i die i die it made me laugh i laughed so hard Obviously, it's so rare and so random, and I had already laughed about it years earlier, so he went back to the flea market and bought it for me. Love you so much. It's just, it's such a delight, honestly. <laughs> Moving on, this is a painting that was painted for me by a very dear friend. So much love for you too. Okay, here we go. Bathroom, how exciting is this? Woo! so exciting. There's my tiara from Disney World because, you know, 
Reminds me every day that I'm a princess. Shower. Nice, awesome, huge shower. I only miss having a bathtub occasionally. I don't really take baths too much. This is the laundry section. Very handy, very handy. This little thing, for someone who gets cold easily, check that out. That is delightful in a bathroom. Oh my lord. Anyways, way too hot right now. So that is it. That is the apartment. Absolutely in love with it. So perfect for just little old me living on my own in here. Very cozy, holds everything I want, everything I need. What more could you possibly want? Now you won't be wanting an apartment tour anymore because there you have it, all good to go. If you thought this video was helpful, informative, entertaining at all, please give it a big thumbs up for me down below. Please subscribe to this channel. Aside from fun little requested videos like this, more than 90% of the videos on here have serious information that can help heal more than 90% of any health, wellness, and body image challenge, okay? Seriously, check those out. Share this channel to help others. If you would like notifications of when future videos are posted, please hit that little bell icon and you will be notified each time I post a new video. Until next time, have super amounts of fun in your life. Have super amounts of fun making your home homey and your own, even if it makes it look like you're 12. <laughs> Love you all. Until next time. Bye.